Aphorism 80, Organon of Medicine Incalculably greater and more important than the two chronic nyas we just named, however, is the chronic miasma of Sora, which, while those two reveal their specific internal dyscrasia, the one by the venereal cankery, the other by the cauliflower-like growths, does also, after the completion of the internal infection of the whole organism, announced by a peculiar cutaneous eruption, sometimes consisting only of a few vesicles accompanied by intolerable voluptuous tickling itching and a peculiar odor, the monstrous internal chronic miasm, the sora. The sora is the only real fundamental cause and producer of all the other numerous, I may say innumerable forms of disease, which under the names of nervous stability, hysteria, hypochondrias, mania, melancholia, imbecility, madness, epilepsy, and convulsions of all sorts, softening of the bones, decitis, scoliosis, Cyphosis, caries, cancer, fungus, hematodes, neoplasm, gout, hemorrhoids, jaundice, cyanosis, dropsy, amenorrhea, hemorrhage from the stomach, nose, lungs, bladder and womb of asthma, and ulceration of the lungs, of impotency, and bareness of megrim, deafness, cataract, amurosis, urinary calculus, paralysis, defects of the senses, and pains of thousands of kinds figure in systematic works on pathology as peculiar independent diseases. Footnote 1. I spent 12 years in investigating the source of this incredibly large number of chronic affections in ascertaining and collecting certain proofs of this great truth which had remained unknown to all former or contemporary observers and in discovering at the same time the principal antisoric remedies which collectively are nearly a match of this thousand-headed monster of disease in all its different developments and forms. I have published my observations on this subject in the book entitled The Chronic Diseases. Before I had obtained this knowledge, I could only teach how to treat the whole number of chronic diseases as isolated individual maladies, with those medicinal substances whose pure effects had been tested on healthy persons upon to the period so that every case of chronic disease was treated by many disciples according to the group of symptoms it presented just like an idiopathic disease and it was often so far cured that sick mankind rejoined at the extensive remedial treasures already amassed by the new healing art. How much greater cause is there now for rejoicing that the desired goal has been so much more nearly attained inasmuch as the recently discovered and far more specific homeopathic remedies for chronic affections arising from Sora, properly termed empty Soric remedies and the special instructions of their preparation and employment has been published. And from among them, the true physician can now select for his curative agents those whose medicinal symptoms correspond in the most similar homeopathic manner to the chronic disease he has to cure and thus by the employment of antisoric medicines more suitable for this miasm, he is enabled to render more essential service and almost invariably to effect a perfect cure.